maybe maybe not but i just want to kind of retrain my mind back to the original process so i could kind of get back on track of measuring my food paying attention to what i'm eating etc so yeah Smith. all right this is my first day weigh-in day one of my pouch reset it's that time of the month too so probably wasn't the best time to do my weigh-in but here it goes so i'm weighing in at 207.4 What is your vitamin regimen and what does your vitamin organization look like? I have to leave them right here just to remember to take them. But I have a multivitamin. I think this is from Bariatric Pals. I think both of them. Um, I don't have my packaging anymore, but this is my calcium citrate. And then this is my multivitamin. So that's going to be the first vitamin I take and then I'll come back at noon and take some more so today is day one of my pouch reset and I am struggling to pull it together today I'm still recovering from my trip but anyways um so today is my late day and I was trying to find a workout that I could do I don't really feel like sweating sweating it's hot didn't really feel like going out walking riding my bike <laughs> I didn't feel like doing anything to be honest, but I kind of, so right now I am walking to the pool and I decided to do some water aerobics. I'm hoping I have the pool to myself, hopefully. Um, they're doing a lot of work over here, so it's not that peaceful, but I don't know how much I'll be able to record in the pool because I forgot my um, sand in the house, but anyway. This is day one, pouch reset. I haven't ate anything as of yet, but I do have a bottle of water. I will see you guys at the pool. All right, I'm about to get in this pool. I'll see if I can shoot a couple of shots. I'm not sure. It is cold in this water. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. It's hot out here, but this water is freezing. Anyway, I'm gonna try to do a few little exercises. doing this more often I spent about 40 minutes my watch died I hope it died because the power was low and not because I got it wet because they say it's waterproof and I never tried it but I want to calorie count or get some some activity on my watch so I will see about that but yeah it was a really good workout I'm glad I pushed myself to get out here and do it I'm about to walk home go shower Get ready for work and make me something to eat. I'll see you guys in a few. All right, I am about to make me my first meal of the day. I haven't had anything but water. Again, this is day one of my pouch reset. My little favorite cup. Got it from Burleson, before you ask. Um, so I'm just going to make my own little broth. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Judge your mama. <laughs> I'm just kidding with you guys. So I'm just making my own little broth. Um, just some water. 
I'm gonna pop that in the microwave for a few seconds and then I have a package out of the ramen noodles. This is the best broth in my personal opinion. All that other stuff that costs all that money, it's not for me, but I'll be back. All right, the water is extremely hot, probably a little bit too hot, so I'm gonna have to let it cool down, but I'm gonna go ahead and mix my broth packet in here. I probably didn't need the the whole thing, but this cup is a little bit bigger than it actually looks. So if it's too saucy, I'll add some more water. Hopefully um, it won't be, but this is my brunch lunch. I didn't want any protein shake right now. I'm not in the mood for anything sweet. I wanted something kind of savory. <laughs> I'm actually craving chicken, so I figured I may need some chicken broth. So I'll I'm about to log into work. I have my water. It's just water, water, it's just water. I got my water ready. And yes, I'm about to be real ghetto. Like I said, don't judge me. I need some type of flavor. I'm putting some hot sauce in my bra. Don't judge me. I put hot sauce on everything. But yep, this is Day one of my pouch reset, and this is the first thing I'm having, some broth and some water. All right, so my broth is finally cooled down. I'm about to log in to work. I know it's just broth, y'all, but this broth tastes so good compared to some of them store-bought broths. And when I was doing my pre-op surgery, this was my go-to. And I used to go to the, I'm gonna do a video on that actually. I used to go to the um, Chinese food restaurant and order wonton soup without all the other stuff in there. And those was my go-to go to, um, for my pre-operation. But yeah, first meal of the day. I wasn't really, I'm still not even that hungry, surprisingly. I don't know why I don't have an appetite, but I'ma just leave it as it is because I'm glad I don't have no appetite. But I'ma go on and finish this up and get my work day started and I'll see you guys back when I have my next meal or snack. All right, so I am going in for some coffee as much as I would like to have. You see, I got all the syrups over here, the skinny syrups, all the sugar-free syrups. I'm using my Nespresso. I can't have... Um, Per the instructions of the reset, it's not actual coffee. You can have decaf. So I have one decaf um, coffee left. So I'm gonna go ahead and make me some coffee. I know it's not gonna give me the pick me up that I need, but that little broth I had like an hour ago, it went in, it came and went real quick. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and make me some decaf coffee. I'm kinda cold and I want something warm and then I'm just gonna put in some of my caramel protein shake for cream. So guys if you don't have your Nespresso get you one because when I tell you I love my little Nespresso thing it's so perfect and most of my let me go ahead and finish making my coffee Just that, like that, that part is done. I could have made me some froth because I have a little frother, but I'm not even going to go through that. So I'm just put a little bit of protein shake in there. Only thing I don't like is putting a cold protein shake in this coffee. Um, it kind of turns cold. So. There's my coffee. All right, guys, it is still day one. I am on my lunch break, headed to pick my daughter up. So I'm just gonna have one of my favorite protein shakes, strawberry protein shake. I'm gonna be honest, I normally don't just drink my protein shakes by themselves. I always mix something in with it, but for the sake of my reset, I'm just gonna drink it by itself. So these things have to be like super, super, super cold. But um, you already know the stats. I'm sure if you're a bariatric patient, you know it's 160 calories, 30 grams of protein. And this is going to be my lunch. This is a French onion soup broth. This was my go-to, y'all, on my, my post-op. 
this and then the ramen noodle packet broth these have just so much more flavor i'm not eating the onions that's inside but this is just what it is i got this one from all these is just a pack of onion soup mix and i put in some water and bam you don't have to spend a lot on all them broths these had two packs in here so this is one whole pack because this cup is kind of big one whole pack and it's 55 cents so if you guys are just starting out on pre-op uh french onion soup it saved my life it tastes so good y'all though it tastes like a burger for real <laughs> I should have maybe warmed it up just a little bit more. Um, I did strain out the onions because it was like way too many onions in there and it is hot. Um, so I just want to tell you, if you drink this, you may want to strain it because it was a lot of onions at the bottom of my cup and I was getting a mouthful of onions and I didn't quite want that. So I did strain it. That That is all. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is your girl. It is day two of my pouch reset. I am feeling bleh. I probably picked the worst time to do this pouch reset. Uh, my monthly friend is here and I am not feeling it, y'all. But I'm going to push through. I'm determined to still push through. So I have me some tea that the only thing that seems to help with those cramps. So I'm about to pop it in the microwave. I know I'm not supposed to have caffeine, but this is an Earl, Earl Grey tea. That's all I could find in the house. I normally like to go to Starbucks during that time of the month because I'm always wanting something warm. I'm not really hungry, so I'm about to go ahead and pop it in the microwave. And then I have some kind of weird um, concoction I'm going to make, so I'm going to come back when I make All right, my tea is finished. Again, this is some Earl's Grey tea. That's all I had on hand, and I had the idea to try to pour some of my vanilla protein shake inside and try to make like a little chai tea type of thing. Um, but yeah, I'm going to pour some vanilla protein shake in. I'm, I've never done this before, so I'm just trying to create something at this point. It looks legit like a chai tea. It may be too hot for me to taste, but. Mm, I should have maybe used the cinnamon roll. I'm gonna pour some more. And that's what I'll do. Let me get some cinnamon and put it in there. Maybe it'll help it out. Cause right now it's not doing nothing for me, but I'm gonna drink it anyway. All right, so I made my little chai, quote unquote chai tea. I don't know, I put some, um, um, you probably can't see it, but I put a dab of stevia liquid drops in. I put a splash of cinnamon. It tastes a little better. I will try this again. I probably will use my cinnamon roll protein, which I don't know why I didn't use the cinnamon roll protein because I have one here. But anywho, this is my first drink of the day. Again, it's day two. Hey, everybody. It's still day two. I'm about to jump in and have some breakfast. So I'm going to do my Fruity Pebbles protein shake. I love this stuff. I don't drink it that often. I forget I have it, but it is Fruity Pebbles by Whey Protein. It is 25 grams of protein, 110 calories, and less than one gram of sugar. And I have some almond milk. This is the almond milk that I use, silk almond milk. So I've measured out six ounces of almond milk. I just put a few ice cubes in my shaker bottle because I personally like it really cold. And then I'm just gonna add a scoop of the Fruity Pebbles protein. I don't know how to work this shaker bottle. I just bought it. Oh, it tastes just like the milk left over from the Fruity Pebbles cereal, y'all. All right, this is breakfast. It's 10.40 a.m. I'll see you guys back at lunch. And because it's been raining here a lot, it's not raining right now, but I smell rain, so I know it's on its way. I have a challenge going on 
with a few friends on my Apple Watch and I've been slacking so bad, but I keep getting these notifications that they done completed a workout and all that. I'm like, let me get my ass up and get some moving because I love a good old competition that motivates me. If you guys have an Apple Watch and want to join in, definitely let me know. I love a good competition and Lunch is a cream of chicken rice soup. So hungry. I'm probably not gonna eat any of it. And don't judge me. Like I said, judge your mama. Cause yes, I'm gonna put some Tabasco on there. I can't have no chicken, but I'm gonna put some hot sauce, some Tabasco on here one day. And I was so upset after surgery, I could not eat my spicy food. And now it's back. I'm doing this this pouch reset, but I'm eating my hot sauce. Either I'm hungry or this little 59 cent can of soup is good right now. Because this is not nothing I would normally buy. But I'm hungry <laughs> right now. But today is day three of my pouch reset. So I am going to make me some oatmeal. I need something to eat on. I'm tired of drinking protein shakes at this time. So I'm going to go ahead and whip up me some oatmeal and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. All right, guys, really quick. Here is my breakfast. This is what I used. I just used half of my protein shake. I took a half a cup of the oatmeal, the quick oats, popped it in the microwave for about two minutes. I did put a tablespoon of the swerve brown sugar you probably skip that because the protein shake adds a sweetness already i did put a dab of vanilla in vanilla extract and then i sprinkled some more cinnamon on top and that is it this is my breakfast day three of my pouch reset this i haven't ate anything i haven't drank anything it is 10 30 in the morning here um so i I did take my vitamins for the morning already and I'm gonna have two scrambled eggs I just made two scrambled eggs and I put two pieces of cheese and some salt and pepper that's it um, I'm tired of drinking protein shakes <laughs> um, but I figured that was a good way so yeah I'm at the puree stage so day four through six is puree and then it's a 10 day pouch reset. I'm only going to day five because I have some plans going on this weekend, but I can tell you it does feel like the reset is working. Now, day four, I'll be going out for a workout on my lunch time, so I will be back then. Scrambled eggs with some cheese. Don't know if I'm supposed to have cheese, but I just can't eat scrambled eggs. Um, and this is my breakfast. My workout, so I had a hair appointment, so I got my hair retightened. Um, and that took much longer than it normally does. And then I was rushing to get my daughter from school. And then by the time I got home, I was tired because for some reason, yesterday my sleep was just off and I woke up at 4.30 in the morning. So nevertheless, I missed my workout yesterday, but I'm gonna try to make up for it some kind of way today. And another reason why I didn't work out yesterday, oh my God, y'all, remember I kept complaining the other day how the shoes I had on was not good shoes for walking. When I got home and I took my shoes off, I'm gonna put a clip in of my shoes I got, um, but don't buy them. Um, take my word on it. And I happened to be, when I, when I got home, I took my shoes off, my feet were so sore and tender and I had big blisters on the heels of both of my feet. So I couldn't even put my shoes on yesterday. I had to wear my uh, slides because of the blisters on my feet. I put on my New Balance, which is my favorite. 
go-to workout shoe anyway and i don't know why i had those other shoes on the other day but um yeah i'm uh post a picture of my go-to shoes too i'm like i would never cheat on you ever again because that was crazy and my feet still kind of hurt but i kind of just pushing through but it's not rubbing my shoes i have on it's not rubbing up against the heels i don't know if i'll be able to walk as far as i did the other day because i was kind of pushing it trying to get back home but i'm gonna see what i could do so i just want to pop in and say hey y'all hey hey y'all hey hey y'all hey all right i have made it to my my little market spot i feel like i made it here a lot quicker then the other day I did a little over a mile, almost a mile and a half. I've reached the fire station. So I'm about to turn around and head back. Um, it's been 26 minutes so far. So I only have an hour lunch, so I got to head back, but I'm at my, there's the fire station. So we're about to turn around, head on back. And out of the blue, it'll just start raining. So let me get back to work, 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 work. All right, they broke another sweat. I'm not a sweater, but as you can see, there is sweat dripping off of me. I do need to start remembering my sunscreen because I literally feel like I'm cooking out here. I'm tired, but I'm gonna keep moving. It's been 50 minutes. I've been out here and I'm still not completely back. I'm sweating y'all, I'm not even a sweater. That is a good thing. I gotta do these walks, but when I finally do it, I'm typically glad that I did. I'm about to go in, clean up, um, the sweat off of me, grab a drink and get back to work. All right, it is still day four. I am about to have my lunch. It's about an hour after I went for my workout. I came in, I had a Gatorade protein that has 10 grams of protein in it. So I wanted to wait a little bit before I ate. So I waited about an hour or so. So my lunch is gonna consist of one of these. This is not tuna, it's chicken. It's a barbecue chicken pack. It's 11 grams of protein. So this is considered a soft food. And then I'm gonna have a boiled egg that I sprinkle some lemon pepper seasoning on. I like lemon pepper for whatever reason on my boiled eggs, but that is going to be my lunch. I'm starting to get a headache. I think it's cause I was out there in that heat. That heat is no joke. Stay hydrated. I tried to drink a lot of water before I even went out there. And then, um, yeah, I just have a headache right now. So I just took something for it and I'm sure I probably haven't ate enough today because the only thing I had today was my breakfast, which was the two scrambled eggs I made, but I really only ate a half, one and a half. So yeah, my head is killing me. So hopefully this eating is a help out, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Doesn't look that appetizing, but it's puree food day. So here we go. Yeah, that's just the chicken creations package with the classic barbecue sauce on there. It's 90 calories for the whole pouch. And then there's my boiled egg. So that is lunch. I will see you guys in a little bit. I'm probably gonna have a protein shake a little later because I need to get in some more protein. But if I do, I'll pop back in and let you know. All right, guys, I am off of work now. It's five o'clock PM my time and the sun is beating the hell out of me right now. But I'm hungry. My little lunch, I ate at 2.30 has came and went so i decided to have a protein shake because i haven't had too much protein today this one and i don't know if you could see it because it's kind of a glare but it's the chocolate peanut butter premier protein shake i pr pretty much try all the protein shakes this is probably my least favorite one like i would think this would be my favorite because i love i'm wasting stuff i love peanut butter and chocolate but this is not it i don't really care for it but since i had them i'm like i'm gonna go ahead and drink them up because I had a whole case and these things are not expensive. I mean, not cheap. If you want to know where I got them from, I got these off of Amazon because they're not that easy to find in the store again. But I don't really recommend it, but other people might like it. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this protein shake. Check you guys at dinner. I don't know. 
it actually don't taste that bad either i'm hungry or it's just not tasting that bad right now it is actually tasting like a Reese, but i have a sweet tooth too so i think if you have like sweet cravings this might be a better option for you because i know i drink the chocolate when i'm craving sweet so this chocolate peanut butter one might not be bad when you're craving sweets too but right now I normally don't like this one and I have a whole case just sitting there, but when I just took that sip, it tasted good. I don't know, I might rethink not liking these, we'll see. All right guys, it is dinner time. My, my hair sticking up all crazy, I just came in. I didn't feel like cooking anything, so I stopped to grab something to eat since I grabbed my daughter. Um, something to eat. So I just stopped at Taco Bell. Although I despise Taco Bell. I'm in the pureed stage of my reset day four. Um, and I wasn't able to eat any. Um, I didn't feel like cooking or putting much thought into it. So I got some refried beans. So I got a small cup of refried beans. So I'll show you that. And that will be my dinner. And I may have some more water or some more Gatorade with protein. Um, depending on when I check my, I think I should have met my protein goal for today, but I'll check and see if I haven't met my protein goal for the day. I drink another Gatorade at some point, um, Gatorade Zero Protein, which will give me 10 grams of protein. If I have, then I'll just drink regular water. This is my dinner, $1.65 at Taco Bell Joy. I don't know how I feel about eating this. Like I said, I'm not a fan of Taco Bell, but it's just a cup of Refried beans, if you're in that puree stage and you're in the beginning of your journey, this was kind of my go-to in my um, post-op stages. I used to eat this, so um, yep, that's dinner, day four. I'm 12 in the morning here. I haven't ate anything, I haven't drank anything. I have my vitamins, these are my B12. Let me focus in. Well, I have my B12 and my calcium that I'm going to take this morning, but I'm going to wait a little bit after I drink my protein shake because the two sweet flavors together do not go well for me. Um, I told y'all yesterday that I wasn't really a fan of this chocolate protein shake, but I maybe changed my mind. This chocolate uh, peanut butter protein shake is what I'm going to have for breakfast. If you know, you know it's 30 grams of protein, so I'm trying to get my protein in early today because I'm kind of hungry. When I went to bed last night, I was still feeling a little bit hungry, so I'm going to go ahead and drink this, and this is going to be my breakfast. I will see you guys snack or lunch time. Bye. Hey, hey, hey. It is day five. So I think I've worked out four days so far. I've been out here walking for a while now. I haven't been recording while I was walking, but I'm almost halfway pretty much to my destination. Um, my little legs is hurting, but that's a good thing. No pain, no gain. I was walking and doing other stuff, making important phone calls. I didn't even realize I'm almost to my little firehouse. I'll take it. I put on me a little headband today because I didn't want my hair blowing in my face. And I remember my sunscreen because I've been out here cooking. So I put my sunscreen on today. I wasn't gonna come for a walk. I'ma switch it up next week. I might ride my bike, do some pool, and kind of switch it up. But I don't know, as long as the weather is just like this, I'm okay with it. It's once it gets hot where I can't even breathe outside, no outdoor activities for me. All right, this is my weigh-in after completing my five-day pouch reset. Boom, 202.8, there you have it. Dreaming in the dark, we are nothing more than dust.